everyone, my name is Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my dog, Gunner, and this is my new puppy, Ammo. I've had her for over three weeks now, but I was waiting until she was more settled in before I made the video. And that's why I've been kind of MIA on YouTube in general. Most of my videos were either shorts or pre-recorded because um, she's a handful, obviously. Not only is she a puppy, She's a Border Collie puppy, and if you don't know about Border Collies, they have a lot of energy, which she does. She has so much energy, and that's okay. That's what I wanted in a dog, but, you know, it's just I, I didn't have time to focus my energy into other things because I was focusing my energy into making sure her needs were met. And now we're kind of on a good schedule. Her owner's schedule is kind of backwards of mine. So at nighttime, that was honestly the worst because she wanted to play, play, play. But now she's so good. I have a puppy play pen for her and she'll just, <laughs> she'll just play in her puppy play pen by herself while I get ready. And at nighttime, that's where she sleeps and she's so good. And Gunner has always been so good around her. I muzzle trained him. I was expecting the worst because with us renting, he had a lot of bad experiences with other dogs but he ever since the very beginning like she'll snuggle up to him he doesn't mind she wants to play with him she'll jump at his face he doesn't mind obviously you know I always advocate for his space even though he doesn't just because once she gets bigger you know that might be more uncomfortable but he's been so good and just really a rock star I'm very proud of him as well and Ammo she's learning so much so fast Ammo come here Come here, Ammo. Good girl. Can you sit? Can you sit? Good sit. Good girl. So she already knows come here and sit. And we're learning touch. Good touch. Good girl. And she's also learning lay down, but that one she still needs a big lure for. So she's learning a lot. She's being very good. I've already taken her to some dog classes now that she's up to date on her vaccines. Like, for the most part, she just needs rabies and um, Lyme disease. But... You know, the big ones, camel, kennel cough, parvo, those sorts of things. She's got all the big ones, and she's raring to go. <laughs> Gunny is so cute. But yeah, so I've taken her to dog class, and she was such a rock star. She's very curious and aware of her surroundings, but is very easy to redirect her attention back onto me. Um, but anyways, uh, this is her little introduction. She'll make it into videos, I'm sure. There will be videos, obviously, specifically designated just towards her. But, you know, for my sit-down-and-talk ones, those are totally up to her if she wants to participate. Gunner's 100% fine just laying on the bed and <laughs> having me talk. She, you know, might not be totally fine with that. And also, she's not even allowed on the bed yet. I'm waiting until I know she won't just destroy everything. <laughs> but, you know, once she gets older, but everything is her choice. I don't want videos to become a, a bad, not fun thing for both of them. Videos are supposed to be fun, and that's why I like making videos, because it's something I can do with them. Even if it's just having Gunner lay next to me while I talk about dog stuff, it's still something I'm doing together with him. So that'll be how it is. And now I'll insert some videos of her and some, like photos of when she was a puppy so you can kind of see how she grew up and how she changed because she's changed a lot and she already looks like a whole grown-up dog her ears are going to naturally stick up which uh I, i'm friends with some collie people and that already upsets them but i really like the sticking up look so i'm okay with it i don't know how that'll affect the whole like if i want to show her in the ring um, I need to do more research on that because honestly, up until like I got her, I wasn't very interested <laughs> in showing her in the ring. But suddenly, you know, she's just been so much fun to work with that, like, is she just, let's see, this is what she, Gunner, no, no, no. He doesn't even care. He's, he smells something, but she's been so much fun to work with that I just want to do as much as I can with her. And if I could show her in the ring, that would be another thing I could do. But, you know, if, if, you know, she doesn't do well for, like, not meeting a breed standard of some sort. Ammo! Like, if she doesn't meet a breed standard of some sort, then, you know, it wouldn't pay for me to show her in the ring. 
come here. Good girl. Good, come here. But yeah, so this is Ammo. She's a chaos monger. Um, I'll do a video about some things that I didn't expect about getting a puppy later on, like some things that weren't expected. And I'll do more puppy content, even though she doesn't even really look that much like a puppy anymore. But like I said, she came first before YouTube videos. Like, YouTube isn't even my job yet. It's like 100% just a hobby right now. So to put a hobby in front of a living being really makes no sense at all. So that is why I was MIA. But yeah, she's she's been so good. I'm so impressed. She's a little naughty in the morning and at night. Those are her naughty times. But for the most part, she's been such a good puppy. And when I first got Gunner, he was a puppy, but like as big as he is right now. So dealing with her is so much easier than dealing with him when I first got him. Because he'd have those morning and nighttime naughty times too, but he was 55 pounds of naughty, whereas she's 11 pounds of naughty. It's a big difference. So, <laughs> and also Gunner's a mixture of the hardest to train breeds, and she, although has a lot of high energy, is like the smartest breed of dogs. So, it, it's been pretty easy training her. She's perfect in her crate. She's already super good in her puppy playpen when I leave. It's a little difficult sometimes, but she's already gotten so much better. She's so good at entertaining herself and getting her own energy out when I'm not, you know, working with her. But when I am working with her, she is such a good partner to work with. And she's also very good with Gunner. Gunner's very good with her. She's eh with our cat. You know, they're learning. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's it's all just a learning process and I'm really really happy with her like I I'll talk about my feelings when I first got her because I went through like this huge wave of guilt I didn't want Gunner to think I was replacing him with something better I felt bad because you know I threw off like the, the groove of everything for a little while but honestly it was just me and I had to get over myself because Gunner and the cat both bounced back so quickly from having their whole schedule kind of messed up. But I'll talk more about that in a different video. And now, here's the puppy slideshow. Dude. Emma. 